Hey, so I wanted to share my experiences with the wonderful P3 plugin performance profiler, which is awesome. Um, I migrated a friend's website off of um, DigitalOcean onto Amazon's Elastic Beanstalk and noticed something really interesting. Everything went great, except for for some reason, I kept on getting the spinner here and the slight site was slowing down, but out of half a dozen sites, this is the only one that really was slow. All the other ones were extremely fast. Um, had nothing but a great experience with Elastic Beanstalk hosted uh, WordPress sites. Um, so I decided to dig a little bit deeper. So I went over to uh, the P3 plugin performance profiler and click scan now. And I'll go ahead and start the scan. I just click auto scan. And I can already see that the scanner is actually running into issues as well because this uh, progress bar inches along. You can actually see the URL changes um, per page that it's pulling up on the blog, and it's actually measuring uh, how long each page takes to come up as well as uh, graphing those results out. And you just tell this is just painfully slow. Um, so definitely no good for uh, end user site experience on this blog. I'll just let it finish up real quick. Go ahead and click view results, and if I go to the uh, the simple timeline, you can notice that this is out of control. If you look at the plugin time, it actually tells you how long this WordPress site spends just processing plugins. It's not looking at the theme. It's not uh, looking at the WordPress core code. It, it's just trying to get the the plugin execution right. This also look, uh, is your first clue here. MySQL queries at 224. That means this WordPress site is having to re-query the database 224 times per click or per page view from this site. Which, uh, in this example, you look here on the left, uh, three seconds for the initial page load and upwards of five seconds to get one of these pages to load. One of the worst offending pages on the site takes over five seconds to load here. Uh, which you see here in the tail end of the graph. Uh, so this is all plug-in time. Um, this is clearly why the site is slow. Um, I'm going to, I, I wrote up uh, all my notes uh, on the linked blog post, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to improve those results simply by disabling the two offending plugins that I did find. And let's see here. So I think one of them it's captured by, so captured by Best Web Soft seems to add quite a bit of time. So let's look at that, deactivate that one. And then I also noticed that the opt-in form uh, also added about 0.5 seconds per click or page load. Um, so I would find a better plugin for that. It's just uh, crazy that the opt-in forms are so expensive in terms of page loading time. Um, so let's let's do another measurement. Let's run back to P3 and do another scan. And go to start scan. Click auto scan. And uh, one of the first things we'll notice is very snappy. You see the progress bar is only taking maybe like a second each time to ramp up to the next page. I'm not having to wait forever for all these pages to load. Um, so you could already see it's a little snappier. Um, once these results come back, uh, you should notice a, a, a significant change in the graph, which is what I want to show you. Um, and so what I do is I rerun this report repeatedly by deactivating plugins I suspect are uh, the culprits, uh, deactivate them, rerun this report, and get those page load times down so that way um, our, our visitors are not waiting forever for the site to come up.
So, wow. We've chopped off like three seconds on the worst offending pages. Um, looks like the edit page, plugins, the WP admin, those take about two seconds per click to load now instead of the normal five seconds we saw previously, which is awesome. Um, our viewers, that you know, WP admin is really just for our uses. Um, so the our web audience is actually getting uh, web page load times of under 0.5 seconds per click or per page view, um, much much better uh, than what we were seeing before. Um, just to show you how much we've improved, I'm actually going to duplicate this tab and move it over, and I'm going to give you a before and after, just to highlight just how huge this is. Um, so if we look at the one just before it, for the simple timeline, uh, let's see, that must not be the right one. Go back. Should be the one just prior. Oh, interesting. And so I'll go back up here to the first report that showed the issue originally. Click on simple timeline, and we can see that it's huge, huge difference. I mean, we dropped our MySQL queries per page view from 231 down to 82. We got it in a double divots, which is great. Um, and then we've got our worst page views uh, for our audience down from three seconds to just under two seconds. And our average of somewhere around, I don't know, just under two seconds, we've dropped it all the way to anywhere between a quarter to just under a half a second per page load. Much more reasonable than what you're seeing here on the left. Um, so this is looking pretty good. Disable those two uh, offending plugins. I think this video actually makes it a lot more easy, uh, a lot easier to understand um, how I was able to. Uh, figure this out and, and how to read the blog post uh, that's associated with, with this uh, analysis. Um, I highly recommend the P3 plugin performance profiler. Super awesome plugin. Saved me a ton of time. I didn't even have to load up a profiler on the uh, Amazon instance. I was able to just do this all from WordPress, which is great. Got it all done in like, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half of going back and forth and then writing the blog post and, and recording this. So. Um, yeah, really great experience. Uh, so, so good luck on uh, continuing on your uh, keeping the performance up on on your WordPress sites. I hope you enjoyed this.